Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a really simple landscape. This is easy for beginners, no matter what stage or level of a painter you are, you can all do this. I want to show you a really, really easy way to paint something soft and beautiful and tranquil. So I've got a few colors here on my palette. I'll hold them up right here so you can see the brand and the shade I'm using. So we've got our Ultramarine Blue, Naphthal Crimson, and bright aqua green uh, right here. I've also got some titanium white I'll be using as well. I'll just go out a little bit here and place it on my palette. I'm gonna be using a few brushes. I'll be using my number 30 filbert brush. And I'm also gonna be using a soft synthetic mop brush. This is a one inch. So let's go ahead and get started on a nine by 12 stretched and primed canvas. So what I wanna do is just take blue, add it around, leaving a little kind of oval or circle in the center. I'm going to take turquoise, my aqua green here, apply that there. I'm going to take red and apply that around the outer edges. Fairly messy, right? Doesn't have to be neat and tidy. Okay, now we're going to take a dry mop brush. It's got to be soft. You don't want a really stiff stipple brush. That's not going to work. We're just going to go around, blending around like this. We mix all those colors together. I'm going to go to a another dry and clean mop brush because the other one I was using is a bit too wet now. And we want to keep this nice and soft. So little circles, little brush side to side, up and down. However you want to blend yours, leave it just a little bit lighter in the center. And then all we're going to do is take another dry, clean mop brush, load it with a little bit of white. You don't want to overload. Less is more like this. And we're just going to go over the wet paint. And when we do this, we're going to pick up those other colors. We're just going to tap, tap, tap. to create some bushes, trees. Look at that ultramarine blue coming out. Then we can come over and add a little pull and drop and then very lightly pull across for the bottom of a waterfall, the base. A little bit more white. Add a little bit more to this side here. And then with just a little bit of white on the end of the brush, tap the base of the waterfall. We'll take just a little bit more white and just pull gently across like that. Dip your pinky in some white. Go around a little 
gentle little circle. Make it as big or as small as you want. And it could be a little moon. Now this is just a little bonus. You can use a long liner brush here. This is from my series of brushes. There's still a few left. It's not too late to get a set of my five piece brush set now. I'll have a link below. And just with a little bit of water, pull into that wet paint. I didn't load my brush with anything. I'm just using the paint that's already on there. And this will give us some subtle little delicate looking branches. And then you can kind of just go and, uh, uh, along the side here and add little half circle shapes. Or maybe some rocks or little bits of grass leaning over the edge. Just come in here and pull a little bit more. Now you can pull into a little bit of white. and pull in a few more little branches. A few more little treetops with another brush and a little bit of white paint. I just tap the tops of those and another little layer in here. And you know what, I'm just gonna do one more thing. I thought it would be really pretty to have some stars here. But you can see how easy it is to just use a few colors, add white on top of them at, when they're wet. You could do it when they're dry too, but you're not going to get the same effect, but it'll still look really pretty. Add a bit of white to the toothbrush and water, turn it over, use your finger to just pull back and spray for some pretty stars. And then if you want to create a little spray at the bottom of your waterfall, just concentrate right there. Just go over and over and over in that one spot for a gentle little spray. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this quick video today. Hope you enjoyed it and you got a little bit of inspiration to try something different. Have fun and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!